here we are walking around without that really healthy, vibrant gut biome that we all would so desire that, that science is now saying is crucial to health and fighting off a lot of our autoimmune issues and helping us in terms of our food sensitivities. Um, so what do we do about that? I mean, uh, so where do we go with that? Our science team started asking exactly that. What is the relationship between the bacteria and this leaky membrane effect? That is the foundation of all inflammation, the foundation of disease and aging. And what we found by accident uh, is that a friend of mine working through my clinic, and one of our colleagues there, brought in a 90-page white paper from agricultural science on soil. And flipping through the pages of that, I suddenly saw a large carbon molecule that looked for all the world like these oxygen redox molecules that I had been studying at University of Virginia uh, that were made by the mitochondria inside our cells. And there's been 15 years of science around oxygen redox molecules made by mitochondria. And I'm looking at that carbon molecule and thinking that's like the coolest, biggest redox molecule I've ever seen in my life. And suddenly it was the click of, wait, the bacteria, just like the mitochondria, are making a communication network. And so our, between cells. Within and between cells, between species in this case. Between bacteria? Or? Yeah. And so between bacteria and between the human bacteria cells. And so you have maybe 30,000 species of bacteria living in a healthy gut. And you have 70 trillion human cells that are many different populations, immune cells, skin cells, gut cells. And those species of bacteria are making this carbon network of molecules. And as soon as we saw it, we were pretty sure we knew what we had. It took us another year to kind of prove what we thought we were seeing and, and, and bring that to light. But what is actually happening is those carbon molecules made by the bacteria are actually the scaffolds that support the tight junctions that we've already talked about. And so our front line of defense, our barrier mechanism to the world, our firewall, if you will, is really this carbon network of communication that is made by the bacteria. And so as we lose microbiome, we lose that network of communication, and we become vulnerable at those tight junctions.